Now, what is entanglement really? Well, when we have the wave function that describes two particles at once, sometimes we can factor it. And so, we can know the state of one particle without knowing the state of the other. We can measure one, and boom, we know it. However, sometimes it's unfactorable. The states of the two particles, as you can see over here, have these cross-spread terms that can't be erased because they would collapse the entire wave function, which means that the two particle states are entangled with one another. One state depends on the other. And so you cannot know the state of one without knowing the state of both. Now, what does that do for us? Well, one, it's a little bit troubling, right? Because you would think these are totally independent if they're exerting no force on one another. But turns out, no. And second, it does help make quantum mechanics compatible with relativity. Why? Well, we know information can't move faster than the speed of light. So, what we want to have is if we have two particles that are associated with one another, well, if we have two particles that are unassociated with one another, here's what we want to happen. We measure it, and the measurement comes back at the speed of light. Then, we have to measure the other particle, because we don't know its state, and the measurement comes back at the speed of light as well. So we've spent two times some amount of time, which is time it takes for light to go from here to our measurement. But, what happens is, because of the Pauling exclusion principle, if you have one spin-up particle, an identical particle cannot have the same spin. And since there are only two possible spins for a half-spin particle, the other particle must have spin down if one has spin up. Which means, well, if you know that one particle is spin up, you already know what the other is instantly. You only needed to make one measurement. And so you needed to spend half the time. The other, the other measurement came to you instantly. But that doesn't make sense. No information can come instantly. Everything's bound by the speed of light. But because of relativity, now you have to measure both of these particles to know what each of their individual states were. So that's all about entanglement and the EPR paradox. Thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.